flubbed an AK reload, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is absolutely out of control. Make sure that you get in there and make YouTube regret their decision to make me a verified channel. Guys, the biggest sponsor of the channel right now is Brownells. A big thank you to them. Now, this video is sponsored by Kamikoto Knives. We'll be talking about them a little bit later. Ladies and gentlemen, my often forgotten, but most certainly not by me, 7.62 by 45s. My real ones will know. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a very cool firearm. So right here we have the VZ58. Now as you can tell, this is a very short boy. Now there are of course regular size variants which will pop up right here. A little short, a little, little smidge shorter than 16 inches, but this particular guy is a 7.42 inch fire breathing dragon. A lot of people will look at the VZ58 and they will say that is clearly an AK and you couldn't be further from the truth. So you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. God, I should not be allowed to make jokes at all. But um, the VZ-58 is really interesting. So let's talk about it for a second. Essentially, the Warsaw Pact was created. It was an answer to NATO. And of course, just like NATO, they wanted to standardize a cartridge. So the Soviet Union said, we are going to standardize the 7.62 by 3.9. Now, Every country pretty much began to make a licensed copy of the AKM or the AK-47. And all these countries did it except for the Czech Republic. And there's a lot of conjecture about why they were allowed to do this, but basically it comes down to the fact that the Czechs just built a little bit different. Now, if you don't know anything about the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, they have a long and storied tradition of being phenomenal arms makers. And it's perhaps with that kind of thing in mind that they came up with the VZ-58. So compared to every other Warsaw Pact country, they designed their own weapon that used the same round, but in every functional way was completely and utterly different from the AKM. Now the Soviet Union just allowed them to do this because, you know, Czechs kind of fuck. So in any case, we got the VZ-58 and there's a lot of very interesting things about it. But essentially, the VZ-58 is the hotter, more muscular cousin of the AKM, and you can't forget it. So the VZ-58 is a short stroke gas operated weapon that contrasts to the long stroke gas operation of the AKM. And beyond that, what's very interesting about the VZ-58 is now this particular guy is very light, but even the full size VZ-58 is both shorter in terms of the action, thinner in terms of the width, and a pound lighter than the AKM and two pounds lighter than the AK-47, despite having a milled receiver. It's been known to be a phenomenally accurate weapon, so there's a lot of things going for the VZ-58. Now, in the case of this particular weapon, due to it being an absolute short boy, it does weigh around 5.02 pounds, which is a psychotically light rifle for what we have. Now, that being said, it does get very, very hot. And we'll talk about it and how this weapon functions and everything. But before we do that, full disclosure, what is my relationship with uh, Checkpoint, who made this particular weapon? Great name, by the way. Um, nothing. I bought this rifle um, just because I wanted them. I think that they're really cool looking, and I love Strike Back. So there we have it. By the way, we tried to license the, uh, that song from the Heavy for this, but that was a no-go. Maybe next time, guys. I guess the best way to put it, guys, is that this is a little murder monster, and with every trigger pull, unless you have a very stout muzzle device, whew, it's still hot, um, you, with every trigger pull, the ghost of Czech warriors are coming out to defeat your enemy. So if the round doesn't kill him, most certainly the muzzle blast will. Now, in this particular case on this rifle, we do have a CGS group suppressor. This is a Helios 1. It is quite awesome, and of course, talk is cheap. Ammunition is not, so what better way to show how well the suppressor works than to actually fire it? So it has it actually is pretty quiet relatively, but let's also put on your pro. Go ahead and try this out. All right. Neat. Just pretty well. We're also in uh, some pretty low light right now. So it should be noted how well that suppressor does. And that bitch is hot because this is a short barrel. Now, if you're not familiar with the 7.62 by 39, one of the very cool things about it is that 7.62 by 39 does very, very well out of a short barrel. So 
out of a full length barrel of 16 inch, you get approximately 2300 feet per second. With this particular guy, depending on ammunition, anywhere from 1850 to maybe 1900, depending. So you really, for as short as this barrel is, don't lose a whole lot of feet per second compared to around like 556. Five, now, of course, velocity is king, but the point being is that 7.62 by 39 does have some benefits. One thing to note is that the muzzle pitch on the VZ58 is actually quite odd. So if you're going to, um, you know, be getting any type of muzzle device, make sure that you either get an adapter or that you have a muzzle device made specifically for the VZ58 pitch, which is just odd. Now, one really cool thing about the VZ58 is the barrel. This barrel is a Lothar Walther barrel. It is chrome plated and it is a phenomenal barrel in every single way. It is both accurate, durable, and in fact, AK Operator Union has done a pretty extensive test on the VZ58 and has noted it to be perhaps one of the most accurate barrels of any AK type platform, I hate saying that, that he's owned or shot. So there's a lot to be said about the, the build quality that goes into these checkpoint uh, VZ58s. They're freaking awesome, I just love it. And it's pretty easy to make hits at 100, at 300, with it. we'll show that probably right now. Um, point is, as you can see, it's very easy to make good and solid hits. Now, of course, you're losing a lot of velocity with a weapon like this, but at the same time, it is more than doable. Now, if we come all the way up on this little guy, you can see that the front sight post is, base, is pretty much your basic um, AK front sight post. There is nothing really incredible there to note or anything like that, other than to say that it is well made and no problems with it at all. Same thing goes with our rear sights right here. Now, here's perhaps my most favorite part about the VC58, and that is the tiniest handguard you can ever you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, it's it's ridiculous, and I love it. And it's really not that usable, but I really appreciate like the the you know the emotional support that it gives me when I put, place my hand there. But you do not want your hand in any way up or on top of that gas block. That thing gets so fucking hot. I found that with the VC58 that I tend to hold it back on the magazine because the magazine is a uh, you know, a lock-in type magazine. It's really not that big of a deal to hold it like that. But just as a quick note, for anybody who ends up getting these really short boys, uh, there are certainly some issues to be had as far as your grip. Now, there are of course companies out there that do offer uh, you know extended handguards, but I really just love the look of these tiny little handguards. It's it's almost like a suggestion. Like you can put your hand here, but if you do, fuck you. Now, the magazines are very, very interesting. So they are aluminum and they are very well made and they're also very large compared to the AK magazines that you're probably used to. So a lot of magazine pouches actually don't work with the VZ58 um, magazine. So that does kind of suck. You kind of have to get something that's a little bit more purpose built or find the AK magazine pouch that works with these particular guys. Now, right here, we do have a parachuter rig that is made to work with the VZ58 mag magazines, and they are pretty awesome if you haven't fucked with them. Big thank you to them for sending one of these rigs to us, and that's what we used in the video. So the most interesting part, I've said that multiple times, of the VZ58 are the magazines. Mike, you want to come in here and take a look at them? So they are all aluminum. They're very lightweight, and they're also very, very well made. A weapon will live and die based on how well the magazines are designed. And when it comes to the VZ-58, the VZ-58 is a legendary weapon in terms of reliability, and a lot of that has to be owed to the design of the magazine. Now, a quick note about the magazine is that, one, they are quite large. So, although they do look like an AK magazine, they are not. So a lot of magazine pouches don't work with the VZ-58. Now, in this case, the rig that we were using with the VZ-58 was a parachuter rig. They make some really awesome gear and they do work with the VZ-58 magazine. So definitely go and check them out or find a magazine pouch that works with the VZ-58 magazines. Tons out there. Point is, if you have an AK mag pouch, it might not work as a quick note. Oh, hey guys, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. You know, this video is sponsored by Kamikoto Knives. We wanna give a big thank you to them. So if you're not familiar with them, Kamikoto Knives is making authentic Japanese steel kitchen knives, and they are very handsome little things. Now, a couple things about them. They are using authentic Japanese steel, only source. Shouldn't point this at you, from Japanese mills. So they are pretty nice. Now, above and beyond that, they have a very rigorous QC process, so much so that they guarantee these knives for life. 
Now, in addition to that, each knife comes in a beautiful presentation case right here to really have a nice little piece of something in your home kitchen. So whether these be for yourselves, whether you're trying to find some type of gift for that friend that you just don't know what to get them, a cool, nice little set of kitchen knives like this right here is a great gift to get for everybody. Now, Kamikoto has a huge sale going on, $50 off when you go down to kamikoto.com forward slash grand. Use discount code grand to get $50 off these knives. Go check them out. Let's get back to the video. Now, one of the coolest parts about these magazines is that they do have a bolt hold open feature. So specifically on the last round, when the weapon fires, it will lock back and then you can perform your reload. Now this is not a bullshit bolt hold open like you have on a lot of AK magazines. Once you pull the magazine out, the weapon will stay locked back so that when you put your new magazine in, you can simply reload it. So that means that your manual of arms for reloading the weapon is actually fairly modern considering that this weapon was designed in the 50s. Now, there are a couple things that have been modernized on the VZ-58 as you can see right here. Specifically, the magazine release as well as the bolt release right here. So, when we perform a change or a magazine change with our trigger finger, push that forward, we can hit that magazine out, lock the next one in, and then, using our trigger finger right there, hit that bolt release and we are now loaded and of course safe. But with that being said, we're gonna do my favorite thing on Grand Thumb. We are going to go set trigger together. For the first time on Grand Thumb, we have a mostly striker fired trigger. As I say, striker fired, forgotten weapons flies through the air and just punches me out. Just like, what is it, invincible? Invincible, right? Yeah. Okay, think Mark. Okay, so we have a lot of play in the trigger right here, about three millimeters, and we hit the wall. And it's actually a pretty light let off, to be honest. So that feels like maybe three to four pounds. They say five pounds, but that feels lighter to me. The reset, it's pretty good. And from the wall, maybe it's closer to five pounds. Maybe I'm just super strong. I don't know, probably not. Houston Jones coming in here. Let's see, feel that reset one more time, letting it forward. Resets right there. You know what? It's not terrible, um, especially when you especially when we consider it's a military trigger, it actually does feel pretty damn good. As far as our bolt is concerned, this is probably one of the more interesting things about the VZ-58. As I said the third time, I think you should start keeping a tally of that. But, so we have the bolt handle on the right side. Of course, there are multiple mods that have that on the left side, whatever. But if you look in here, there are actually channel guides. So if you have a stripper clip, like from an SKS, you can actually use those to load into the magazines. So I'm not sure when exactly you'd want to do that, but as far as being able to charge up your magazines, not that hard to do. So that is kind of one of the more interesting things about the VZ-58. Now going back from there, there are a multitude of ways to add optic rails to your weapons. Um, this is one of the military methods. And then of course we have a side rail we can add or we can use RS regulate, tons of different ways. We do have an aim point T1 on this guy, old reliable right there. Now it should be noted that the recoil on the VZ-58 is actually incredibly, incredibly soft. So we'll fire a couple rounds here just so you can see it. But one thing that I really have loved about the VZ-58 is even compared to a short barreled AK, it's just, feels great. So without further ado, let's try out that recoil a little bit. So especially when you consider this guy is a short belled variant. That recoil is super, super mild. So that is one of the cool things about the VZ-58. And then of course, the stock is easily swapped. You can use the full size, you can use the little wire stock right here with the wire stock. It desperately, desperately needs like some type of rubber butt pad. So put that on there if you wanna have an easier time shooting or just something, it needs something. Um, the full size stock of course is better, but as far as being able to fold, this one rocks. You can, of course, put anything on there. Anything from your AR-15 buffer stocks to whatever. Tons of adapters out there. Find what works for you, but more importantly, find what's cool. The point is, find a stock that works for you, but when it comes to the wire stock, it's what kids these days are calling a vibe. So overall, what do we have here? We have a very lightweight rifle, a very handy rifle, and I can't say that enough, but it is such a small, such a lightweight design 
it's very ergonomic. It is a very odd looking weapon in many ways with its huge magazine and you know, little teeny handguard, but you know what? This gun fucks. And it is most certainly the hotter cousin of the AKM. <laughs> but the thing about it, guys, is as cool as this gun is, um, it's not gonna matter unless you get training. So make sure you get training out there. Hopefully you go through with these. Um, they are not that hard to get a hold of, so check them out. God, I can't stop! Point is, get training. Bear Solutions, Cogworks, Haley Strategic. Make sure that you train yourself because these are tools, you are the weapon. Make sure that you hone that weapon. I've got nothing else for you guys. Final thing for you guys. Go out, do a good deed for somebody. You know what, there's probably a neighbor out there who needs some snow shoveled or maybe somebody needs a grass mowed. Be out there, be a good neighbor. Remember that we're all human beings and that everybody can hi have highs and lows. So if you're having a good time right now, go help somebody out. You might make their day just a little bit better and spreading that positivity is always a good thing. Love you guys. <laughs> good? Yeah. All right, you wanna try to shoot this?